The top public health officials in the United States are making a now familiar plea to Americans as the coronavirus continues spreading across the nation. AP's Sagar Megani reports. Appearing before a House panel, CDC Director Robert Redfield, Dr. Anthony Fauci, and Trump administration virus testing czar Brett Giroir said, no, there is no vaccine yet, but Americans are also not defenseless against the virus. We have powerful tools. Five easy things to do. Avoiding crowded indoor spaces or washing hands or wearing a mask. Universal wearing of masks, avoiding crowds, physical distancing. Not just some of us. But all of us embrace these tools. We will get a handle on this pandemic. Fauci says he's optimistic Americans will have widespread access to a vaccine after one is approved as safe and effective, hopefully by year's end. Sagar Magani, Washington. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said Friday he is postponing some planned measures to ease the lockdown because the number of new coronavirus cases in the country is on the rise. At a news briefing, Johnson said many activities will have to be postponed for at least two weeks. Until the 15th of August at the earliest, casinos, bowling alleys, skating rinks and the remaining close contact services must remain closed. Indoor performances will not resume. Pilots of larger crowds in sports venues and conference centers will not take place. Wedding receptions are also on hold, as is a plan to allow limited numbers of fans back into sports stadiums. The measures are due to be reviewed again in two weeks. Three people have been arrested in a hack attack that embarrassed one of the world's top tech companies. AP's Tim McGuire has details. A British man and a man in Orlando, Florida, face federal charges, while 17-year-old Tampa resident Graham Clark will be tried in state court on charges from the July 15th hack. Investigators say Twitter workers were tricked through their phones into letting in the hackers. The hackers then sent out bogus tweets from the accounts of Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Mike Bloomberg, and tech billionaires Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and Elon Musk, celebrities Kanye West, and his wife Kim Kardashian West, offering their followers $2,000 for every $1,000 sent to an anonymous Bitcoin account, collecting more than $100,000 in the scam. I'm Tim McGuire. U.S. President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis say the state is ready for the threat of Hurricane Isaias. Speaking in Florida, the president said he has federal help ready if the state needs it. My administration will be here for you every single step of the way. We've done everything we can do, and now we're just waiting for the storm. Governor DeSantis called on Floridians to prepare and not to wait until the last minute. Make sure you have your plan. Make sure you have seven days of food and supplies and medicine. Uh, there could be some power outages, and uh, it's an ongoing, very fluid situation. Hurricane Isaias's imminent arrival has forced the closure of some outdoor coronavirus testing sites in Florida, even as the state continues to tally record daily deaths. Hurricane watches and storm warnings are in effect in many areas of Florida's east coast. Hong Kong's leader Carrie Lam on Friday postponed September's election for the city's legislature for a year because of a spike in coronavirus cases. Reuters' Soria Ali reports. Hong Kong's leader Carrie Lam confirmed her decision on Friday after days of reports that it may be coming. The opposition had aimed to win a majority in the Legislative Council where half the seats are directly elected and the other half filled mostly with pro-Beijing appointees. The postponement of the vote comes after 12 pro-democracy candidates were disqualified from running. The government denies political censorship or suppression of the right to run. Lam, who is backed by the Chinese national government in Beijing, said she had to invoke an emergency law to make the postponement, and no political considerations were involved in the decision. Hong Kong has reported more than 3,000 coronavirus cases since January. But for the past 10 days, the number of new infections has been in the triple digits. That's Reuters' Soria Ali.